Hi everybody, welcome back to the joy of trucking. I'm Kevin, solo OTR driver for Werner. I'm up here in Michigan. It's been snowing for two days now and I've been driving around in it. So if you'd like to hear what I've learned about driving in snow, maybe there's something you can pick up from my experience. Look at this slush and ice hanging off here. This truck needs a bath. So give us the give us the thumbs up, hit the subscription button, and let's talk about snow. All right, here we are inside the truck, keeping warm. I'll tell you, this is a long way from Phoenix, Arizona. <laughs> Not used to this stuff at all. Now I, I grew up in Canada. I know what it's like to drive in the snow. You always see the first snowfall of the year. There's accidents at every intersection. People forget that. You know, you can start slipping and sliding in this stuff and uh, somebody always goes through an intersection or bumps into somebody at a stop sign. So, uh, yeah, so the last two days I've been up here in Michigan. It started snowing yesterday morning and uh, the snow was like ankle deep after a couple hours. I went for a walk to the store and then I uh, finished my business with the truck and, and had to get someplace. I was very concerned I, I, I really noticed the lack of traction you know um, especially with an empty trailer uh, you don't have as much weight on the drives so it's not that I had trouble stopping it's that I had trouble starting in a lot of a lot of situations I could I could feel the drive wheels spinning instead of grabbing and, and propelling me forward uh, one in intersection it looked like there was a lot of ice on the ground uh, another spot there was there was just a whole lot of snow and, and the, the wheels couldn't couldn't really grab. Now these tires have sufficient tread, but they're not winter tires. I actually wound up with one winter tire this year uh, when I had a flat and the only one that the guy had on his truck out on the road service truck had, had really deep, deep winter treads. And I had that for a few months, but the truck was in for service uh, over Christmas and they took it off and put on a tire that matched all the rest. So basically I got summer tires on here. The front uh, steer tires are new and they have nice deep tread. I've, I haven't had any problem steering, finding my way around. Uh, all the problem has been with traction on the drives and having an empty trailer, um, I guess makes a difference with braking too. If you have a heavy load, you gotta allow yourself a lot more time to slow down and brake. Um, so basically, the, the main thing I'm saying is slow down, drive slow. You gotta be ready. Uh, there's a lot of surprises out there. You're gonna, you're gonna come across situations where you've gotta, you gotta slow down because of traffic up ahead, because uh, a light suddenly turns red and you're, you're on snow, you're on slush. There could be ice underneath it too. Yesterday we had all that snow. In the afternoon, the sun came out, melted a lot of it, and the next morning it started snowing again. So today, you know, just walking around the trailer, I almost slipped and fell a few times. I, I thought I was walking in two inches of snow and then I noticed there's a layer of an inch of ice underneath the snow. You don't even know it's there, you don't see it. Um, yeah, and uh, another thing I learned, uh, don't touch that jake brake. I love using the jake brake. I wanna save my, my regular brakes as much as possible. I use the engine to slow down when I'm in traffic, when I'm going down a hill. Sometimes it's, it's, it's become such a habit I often reach for that before I'll, I'll jump on the brake pedal. I had to remind myself all day not to do that. Don't touch that jake brake. What can happen uh, is your drive wheels will lock up and all the other wheels will still be turning. And if that happens, you're gonna lose control. The trailer is gonna keep coming at the same speed and will start to swing around. You get a jackknife, suddenly your trailer's beside you knocking over cars and sending you into a ditch and you might even roll over. Don't touch that jake brake when you're on ice, when you're on snow, when the road looks slippery, whatever. It's it's a bad idea. Uh, I heard a story from a friend. I was talking to Highway Junkie today about all this, and uh, he was telling me about a situation where he heard on the CB radio somebody calling out saying, watch out on that bend up ahead of you guys headed the other way. A four-wheeler just, just spun out, and he started slowing down right away, and as he came around the curve, he could see the guy was still twirling around on the highway and uh, I think it was on a bridge too. So there's a few things you got to take away from that. First of all, the CB radio is a really good tool. 
you can get advanced warning and stuff coming up and listen to it and listen to you know people are people are trying to help you out telling you to watch out for something up ahead the second thing I take away from that is there's ice on bridges uh, you see the signs on the highway you know bridge ice is before the road that means the road might look good everything's cool but the bridge actually gets colder than the road so it's cold first and ice will start forming there before it does on the road also when things start warming up again the bridge is still cold there's still ice on the bridge when when maybe the road is, is dry because things are warming up and another thing I saw today uh, I was going under a bridge and I was on dry pavement everything looked good it was solid I was doing like 50 and I saw two little patches of ice right right where the tires go and as I as I passed on that bridge I actually felt the truck side slip just a just a touch but just enough that you know something's something's not solid here we're losing traction and it was only a split second so there's ice under bridges too. It might be the water dripping from the bridge. It might just be that there was there was slush there the day before, but the sun didn't hit that spot because it's under the bridge. Didn't melt it, didn't, didn't dry it up, whatever. So watch out underneath bridges too. That's something I learned today. Um, and the other thing you take away from that is the four wheelers are driving like crazy out here. Now they, they probably have better traction than I do because I felt you know, I felt I really had to slow down. Like on the highway, at one point I was down to 40 and cars were passing me and you could tell the road was covered in slush. There might've been ice here and there, I don't know. But the four wheelers were, were pretty confident, you know, and I know what that's like. I've driven a car in snow. I once got a speeding ticket in a blizzard. Uh, I had a rental car, it was a Subaru, all wheel drive. My car was in the shop and it was a rear wheel drive. And I could not believe how well this car handled in the snow traction cornering everything and I got pulled over by a cop I was driving through like four inches of snow and I was actually going over the speed limit so uh, the thing you know driving a truck you got to watch these four wheelers and uh, as a matter of fact to today on a on a two-hour ride I counted six separate incidents where four wheelers had gone off the road and there were tow trucks one guy had gone clear on into the bush and hit a tree uh, another guy in the median, he hit the guardrail, cops and tow trucks all over the place. Six different times in two hours, four wheelers had gone off the road. And I just kept going slower and slower thinking, you know, what if, what if a guy loses control next to me and slams into me or something like that? You know, you got to really look all around you. Be careful. Um, yeah, so traction's a problem. Go slow. If you don't feel safe, go slower. If you don't feel safe at all, get off the road. Nobody nobody is gonna tell you keep driving if, if conditions are dangerous. And you are the only person who can judge whether it's safe or not. You have to feel secure. You have to feel safe. You have to feel like you're in control of this vehicle. Don't take any chances. If it looks bad, find a place and hole up. It could be a couple hours, it could be a couple of days. Doesn't matter. Watch the weather, watch the conditions, watch what other drivers are doing. You know, sometimes they're passing you, they're barreling down the road, and sometimes they're in the ditch. And when you see that, you better take that as a pretty serious warning. Um, yeah, so get, get yourself a CB radio, slow down, watch out for bridges, watch out for four-wheelers. Uh, what else can I say? Um, you know, we could talk about chains, too. Uh, in some states, it's mandatory to carry chains or you get fined, like Washington and Oregon. There's a lot of places in Colorado where you have to have chains or you'll get fined for going on a particular road without chains if they, if they catch you. Uh, the Raton Pass from Colorado into New Mexico, you gotta have chain, there's a chain up station there. There's places in Tennessee where you might need chains. So uh, uh, with our company, you have to pick chains up at a chain bank and then turn them back in when you're through the area. But if you can, get chains and carry them all winter and be prepared. You know, I got sweaters, I got winter coats, I got gloves, I got blankets, I got extra food and water, I got long johns, I got a toque, I got a scarf. You never know. I mean, you're driving, the cab's warm, you get out for a minute to hook up a trailer or go into an office, it all seems good, but what if you break down? What if you're out here and, you know, the engine dies and it's 20 below or something like that, you know? Be ready for it. And, uh, <laughs> like I said, this ain't Phoenix. <laughs> You, you know, you're, if you're OTR, you're gonna you're gonna face all kinds of conditions all over the country. So, be ready.
All right, that's all I have to tell you about driving in the winter. Uh, sorry about the truck, it's a mess. All this slush piled up, there's ice hanging off, it's dirty looking, there's salt. They're spreading salt on the roads here and it's all over the truck, it's all over the windshield. A lot of times it was getting hard to see out the windshield, so you gotta be careful about that too. You know, ice building up on the wipers and the salt spraying on it. Yeah, it's nasty, it's nasty out here. So be safe out there. Think about getting home to your family in one piece. You know, you gotta get the load through, but what's more important is you, you getting home. So uh, take care out there. And I hope you got something from this. Give us a little thumbs up and let me see your comments below. Let me know if I missed something or maybe if you got a lesson to share with me and uh, hit that subscribe button again. There it is over there. We'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.